Right, Shalom to the hopeful elect. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rekha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And salutes to Yaakim teaching his word to the hopeful elect. All right, uh, this video, I'm going to be speaking about the divisions that's happening in this earth. Okay, and it's prophecy. The Lord told us about it. And that's exactly what we're seeing happening. Okay, with this whole pandemic and, and the way uh, these... Um, you know, Esau's, um, you know, serpent venom is being, uh, for, you know, pressured on people and it's causing a lot of divisions, okay? And it's only going to increase, okay? You know, a lot of things, you know, is taking place in this earth that is even causing more divisions, okay? And ultimately, the truth, this word, right, is, is being pushed, and that's going to bring that divide, man, uh, um, you know, in the time to come, right? In the times of persecutions, in the time of, you know, a much tribulation, okay? But, you know, the Lord, he's got his protection upon his chosen elect, right? The ones that are going to be delivered out of all of this, right? So I'm going to start with Matthews 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth, right? And this is our Lord speaking, okay? Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world calls um christ right his name being yahweh shai a so-called black man according to revelations okay he's not come to send peace all right because people think that the law is coming to you know love all nations and and um, save all nations but the scriptures don't say that okay the lord is coming for a chosen few of his people all right the israelites the so-called negro latino native americans right the 12 tribes all right, a chosen few out of those. Okay, the rest they are going to be destroyed. All right, on this side, the rest they are going to be, uh, um, you know, judged along with the heathen nations. Okay, along with the wicked uh, Edomites. Okay, so the Lord said that He's not coming to send peace. All right, it says, "I came not to send peace, but a sword." All right, which is destruction. All right, He's not coming, uh, you know, to save everyone no he's coming with a sword to punish the wicked right and to punish those that don't repent he's coming with judgment all right and that's that um spirit is increasing okay because these people are wicked the earth is getting worse the people the rulership this um kingdom is just becoming more degenerate and and more filthy and it needs to be taken out with judgment and that's why the Lord is going to come with that great destruction, right? The day of the Lord, which is darkness and not light, right? That's what the scriptures tell us, right? And this is the, the, what the, the true uh, gospel is um, is talking about, okay? Because you have um, the, the uh, gospel, which means good news, right? Which is the good news is going to be that the elect, the chosen are going to be saved from this destruction to come, all right? But... You're going to have those that aren't of the elect. They're going to be destroyed. All right. When the Lord comes with that sword. All right. With that destruction. All right. And you're going to have those that they are not going to want to hear this truth. All right. They are going to want to teach false doctrine. They're going to want to teach smooth things like the scriptures tell you. All right. The false prophets, those that um, add and, you know, take away from the word. All right. They want to talk things that sound nice to the ear. Okay, but it's not the truth. Okay, and this word is going to bring division as it, as it has done. Okay, you're going to have those that aren't going to get with the, the real truth, the doctrine. All right. And then you're going to have those that will and those that are going to stand by the truth and confess Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you're going to have those that, that won't. Okay. So verse 35 says, For I am come to set a man at variance. All right, which is a difference, okay? People are going to be, um, you know, uh, divided, okay? And that's because the Lord is making that separation between those that are wicked and those that are righteous, right? I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foes shall be they of his own household right and that's increasing more in the earth okay you you think 
um, you know, the police, you know, their danger, which they're afraid, you know, they're, you know, um, you know, Roman, you know, centurions and, and whatever, you know. But really, more times, you know, you're looking at the, you know, the enemy as those that are under your own roof, right? That's the scriptures letting you know, you know, and, and we're seeing that more and more, okay? You're going to have those that, that uh, don't believe in this truth and they, they basically hate you for that because you believe in the truth, right? Because you serve the Lord. All right, because you worship the the Lord in truth and sincerity, and they 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 they're not down with it, so that's going to cause that variance. You know. It says the the father, you know, a man against his father, daughter against her mother, all right, daughter in laws, all that those family relations, all right, they're being split up, they're being broken up, all right, that's what's happening, you know, especially in in you know. Uh, Israelite households, man, you know, our people, okay, because, we, you know, there's so many things that, that's dividing us and we are even, we our nation's been broken down so, so bad, man, all right, you know, you have our people that are into wickedness, you know, and they want you to be with them in that same wickedness, right, and when you, you are moving in that same way and you want to follow after the Lord, there's going to be that division and it's only going to increase, especially when that um, mark of the, you know, the B comes, you know, that chip, all right? Right now, it's that pressure with Esau's serpent juice, the venom, all right, the needle, and that's causing heavy divisions. Even where you have uh, celebrities, there was uh, Jennifer Aniston, she was saying she had to, uh, you know, lose friends. She cut off friends with those that, that didn't take it, and... You know, she's not the only one, man. There's a lot of people that have been saying that on social medias, you know, and they've been demonizing those people that haven't trusted Esau and gone and just blindly, you know, taken the juice, man. All right. Which is off anyway, you know. So, but that's a part of the divisions that's coming up, man. You know, the whole kingdom is divided. Okay. Now it says a man's foe shall be day of his own household. So yeah, that's really that um, division, man. Alright, let me get uh, another scripture. Alright, because hey, you really got to be um, wise, man, and circumspect in these times. Okay? Because, you know, it's only going to increase. People are going to get more, um, you know, hateful. Alright? This is Second Ezra's. Chapter 6. Uh, yep, Second Ezra's chapter 6 and verse. I'm going to start at verse 24. All right, to the point it says, At that time which is the last days, these end times where these prophecies are taking place before our eyes, right? The times of famines, the times of uh, confusion, the times of uh, conflict and uh, heavy division, okay? The time of judgment, all right? It says, at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. So someone that's, you, you saw them as the best of friends, they're going to turn around and, and start trying to go at each other's necks. You know, that's why, you know, you see people being more colder to each other, right? People that were once good friends, now, you know, they're like backstabbers. Now they're always talking evil about, their, you know, those same people. Where they was good friends, now they're enemies, all right? And that can even be now those that don't want to take the needle, Esau's uh, serpent venom, you know, now their friends are looking at them like they don't, like they're an enemy, you know, and it's going to increase that way, especially when that chip comes. Then there's going to be that real division, that real divide. All right. And the elect are going to stand out. All right. Because they're not going to bow to Esau's system. They're not going to bow and try and become friends of, these, of the world and, and try and join in with these people that are going and headed for a destruction. All right. It says at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. 
The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. So, you know, that's that that the time that we're in, man. You know, a time like no other that's coming. All right? And these people, they're going to be fearful. They're going to be afraid because of all the destruction. All right? All the chaos that's going to be taking place. All right? Things are going to be strange and unusual. All right? Because the Lord, His Spirit is against this wicked kingdom. All right? Because of all the, the wickedness that's happening here. The Lord is, is really plaguing this place. All right? Uh, this is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. It says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right? So the, the wickedness, all the sin and upon sin that's happening in this kingdom, right? all the wicked laws, all the wicked acts people uh, practice, you know, the false religions, the idolatry, the witchcraft and the the, the um, sodomy and all those type of things that's just being uh, exalted in this kingdom, right? People uh, committing adultery, you know, all that rage is, is that's building up in society, right? People are becoming cold hearted towards one another, right? You're seeing love decrease. People are getting divorced. People are, are separating themselves. People don't want to be around other people. It's becoming that point where people are literally just out for themselves and it's going to come to the point when there's you know people ain't even got food when they ain't got anything all right when they, there's an economic collapse when all hell breaks loose that's when you're going to see people's true colors all right those that are, are maxed those that aren't maxed those that are chipped those that aren't chipped it's going to be a complete war and hell a hell hold in the earth all right but you're going to have the elect that are going to be saved out of all of this all right and they're going to see all right, they're going to see uh, the end of this kingdom, man. All right, because this kingdom is, is surely going to be headed for a fall, man. I'm going to close with this last scripture. All right, this is Mark 3 and verse 23. It says, and, and he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Yes, so Satan is casting out Satan. You know, these wicked people, you know, are looking at these uh, other people that are wicked as being wicked. But everybody, they're all doing the same things. They all love the same wickedness. All right. You got these other nations, uh, you know, uh, divided against these other nations. And really, America is going to get the worst judgment out of all of that. Because all nations are looking at America as a filthy place, a disgusting, evil place. All right. And even uh, cities and states, you know, they're all divided. All right. So it says if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And you have Edomites going at Edomites, exposing other Edomites, exposing the new world order and, and exposing the, the wicked elites, all right? exposing the, the pandemic, you know, exposing um, the serpent juice, right? the, the max. All right, the vax and all of that. That, that. All the information is coming out and everyone's, you know, s divided. Because why? We're at the end of this wicked kingdom. All right? Surely the end is going to come. It says, And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but have an end. All right? And that's this place, this kingdom. You know, the fall of this wicked kingdom is, is near, all right? It's at an end, man, all right? But watch out, you know, for those, uh, they that are foes of your own household, watch out for, you know, all these things. Be circumspect, all right? Be wise as a serpent and harmless as doves, as the scriptures say, all right? And the Lord is going to deliver us soon, man, all right? We are watching prophecy in real time. So with that, I'll end it there. I'll say all praise to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shah, Wuhar, Rukha, to the hopeful elect. Shalom.